Hello everyone, Technomads here with another video and today we are looking at essentially at how to represent error bars in your charts. So for example, you might be doing an experiment, mostly for you know engineers and scientists, and you have a variation in your readings. So for example, according to lab cal calibrations and your projected readings, you expect that, say at a temperature of 40 or 50 degrees, you expect the temperature to be at 200. But over time, say you have taken 20 readings of each and you notice that there is a deviation of plus 40 minus 50 and there is a variation according to the different voltages applied to the equipment in regard to the expected temperature output. So how will you represent this? So the first step essentially is to insert your chart. So let's throw in a scatter chart and just to make it a little bit more appealing the next thing we are going to do is just adjust the bounds. So uh, like we said in the previous video, you can come over here, adjust by you know adding the axis titles. These are something we want to look at. If you want to adjust the color, you can adjust that, but that is for later. So the next thing, just right click, go to format data series. And now, let's exit this point. Let's go over to the size. You can adjust the size here. But now what we really want is to adjust the bounds of our data series. So first of all, you notice that the small the smallest value we have in the voltage is 50. So we can say the minimum to be 40. You notice immediately your graph looks better your data is in at least you know half the chart and coming over to the temperature you can observe that the smallest reading you have is 200 so you can adjust the same for this axis just selecting on the axis itself in the format axis come over to axis options and the minimum value let's set it at 180 So now your chart looks a whole lot better. So the next thing, select your chart, come over here and select the error bars. So how do you work with the error bars? So in this scenario, our variation is mostly in the vertical area. So simply selecting any of the horizontal error bars, hitting delete will remove them automatically. So one thing we need to readjust is the bounds selecting the same you know the same scale the vertical scale coming back to the axis options let's adjust this to say 150 to accommodate the error variations that we are going to add right now that's still too little let's go with 130 so now that we have this data set the next thing we want to do is to link these different error bars to the data we have so let's readjust the chart so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Selecting the error bars, coming here to the error amount. First of all, select custom, choose specify value. For the positive error, we want to select this range. And for the negative error, we want to select this range. So once you have that, hit OK and you notice automatically that your error bars appear proportional to what you have at the different temperature readings so you can go with no cap or have a cap you can go with only the minus if you are only looking to show the deviation on one side or for both depending on what you are presenting so finally just to make it a little bit more you know appealing let us add the grid line just to fine tune it a little further and if you're looking for that dark theme as usual head over to color select the different colors you want back to style a darker theme blue theme depending on the presentation that you are looking for so that's essentially how you insert error titles and as always in the previous video we looked at how to remain to rename your different axes axi <laughs> i don't know the, the plural you can always rename that and yeah if you like the videos if you like the content don't forget to hit that subscribe button catch you on the next one